Welcome back to the channel. Welcome. Well, we're on a bit of a road trip, mate, aren't we? Me we and are. Gregorio are on a road trip. Here we go. So it's going to be quite a few hours in the sea today. So what a test. Well, we've still got no rain yet, but the clouds are getting heavier. Don't jinx it. Please don't jinx <laughs> it. Touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but we've got a dry day, thankfully. The sun, I think, will be coming out. The rain has dissipated, and it's time to have some proper fun on these beasts. Bring it on. Well, we've just pulled over. We're just trying to find a good bit of fun today, really. I don't want anything else. We've got no, no destination in mind. Don't ask me what route we've taken. <laughs> this is just on the fly, basically. But we're, we're heading north, and then we're going to come round and, yeah, have some fun, really, is the main thing, isn't it? But uh, look at the state of the bikes from yesterday. Look at the state of them. So are you bonding with that MT-09 then? Are you... Uh, I love it. You're loving it, aren't you? We, we actually were a bit guilty. We spent, sort of, because it was wet and horrible, we just stayed on the bikes we were on. So I'm actually looking forward to getting back on that. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm really liking the 990, but I'm looking forward to getting back on, on that. It's just so easy to live with the MT-09. So easy and it's, you know, it's just so playful. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's nice. It's typical Japanese affair. Just got it all working well. Yeah, I like it. It's got the fun though, isn't it? Sometimes the Japanese bikes can lack a little bit oh, of so much little fun. bit of fun, can't they? But they Yamaha, you know, probably the only Japanese manufacturer which brings a lot of fun into their bikes. Uh, let's see who's used the most fuel again then. I'll just check I've got my card. Got an old um, RS Turbo over there. Oh. Alright, let's see how much we've got in the Duke. Bremit. 7.94 litres. So just, just under 8 litres. Yeah, it's tidy that. That's, that's obviously had a bit of restoration work. Let's refresh that paint. That's a minter. Absolute minter. Just the bolsters on the Recaro's used to wear through. It's got a little bit of wear, that. God, it brings back memories, looking at that. 14.94. What did you have in seven something? Oh, God, what did I say? Just under eight litres. It's, it's, they're the same. They're burning the same. Exactly burning double. the same. Oh, well, there you go. I want to talk to him about his RS Turbo. <laughs> Building an RS Turbo review. I've got to do the sat-nav again now. It's gone off. Building an RS Turbo review as part of the video. Let's have a little swap skis. Is the fuel cap keyless as well? Yeah, it is. It works beautifully, to be fair. It does feel... It feels well made, the whole bike. I've got to say, if I, if I didn't... As you know, when we rode the standard 2024 version, the SP became a bike on my list. And if I hadn't bought my Tuono, I would definitely be considering one. Yeah, yeah. I say flat, flat bars on it. Yeah, flat bars, some mods. I definitely want to lose new exhaust, obviously. But it is, it's really good. It's so, so playful. This, they, they do feel, the handling feels quite different. Very different. This, this feels... It's a bit sharper feeling on the Duke, isn't it? It oh, is no, a little it, bit it sharper really is. feeling. Yeah, and and it's it's a firmer setup, uh, not in any way crashy, but just the whole thing feels a bit more taut than it chassis suspension-wise. It feels a little bit more focused than than the, the M2 it, it, it doesn't does, it? Yeah, yeah, it, it does. To, this has got a little bit more of a relaxed feel um, than than the Duke. Well, that, you know, that could be seen as a good or bad thing. It depends on your, on your preference, really, doesn't it? I think it definitely makes the M29 a bit easier and to ride, though. You're still there, mate. I'm here. Yeah, that's not far off. I've lost it for a minute. That's enjoyed the scenery. Just, just admiring how well he's installed the L-plate. <laughs> Actually <laughs> over the number plate. Exactly. That's nice. You can't see the bottom three you letters, really. You can't see the bottom three letters. Could be deliberate. It could be a deliberate ploy. Ah, oh, this is more like it. Boy, oh! Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Lo loads of mid-range coming out of the corner. I say it's not, it doesn't feel, it's a little bit more punchy on the Duke, for sure. But it's, it's still more than enough on this. It's still plenty though, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely plenty. The engine on the 990 is absolutely lovely. 
Yeah, it's a great power plant, isn't it? It's yeah, it is. It's so progressive. It sounds nice. It's got a beautiful character. I love it. It's got power everywhere as well. Yeah. Yeah, the suspension feels premium on the MT-09. I know it's, it's obviously got the old interest shot, but even the forks, you know, it, it feels pretty premium. Loads of support in the corners. I know the Duke is as well, and I, I, that WP stuff, as we mentioned, is, is very good, isn't it? Look at these roads. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is like heaven, isn't it? No grit on them, no potholes. Super smooth tarmac. What can you ask for? I mean, you really, I know we always say this when we're actually riding them, but you really don't need any more performance than what these bikes offer for the road, do you? No, we don't. I, mean, I know we say it every time, and we've obviously got bikes that are faster and, you know, ridiculous, really, but these are, these are plenty, aren't they? I mean, it, you know, I'm not having any less fun on these than any other bike. And a bit like the uh, a bit like the 600 Super Sports that we rode about two or three weeks ago, you know, they were as much fun as you could ever have, weren't they? Really? They were. I mean, you, you could have one of those and one of these, even, you know, for for the for, for the for the same price as, we'll say, just over 20 grand for the same price as buying a, you know, an M an M thousand R or, or the Super Duke car, you know, similar sort of money, and you could have. And you could have a Street Law Super Sport and one of these as well. I mean, the throttle response on both bikes is incredible. I know that historically the MT range has always had been quite a snatchy throttle. I think it took Yamaha a little while to get the ride by wire absolutely sorted, but it's, it's no snatchiness, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got such lovely pickup, this, this 990. Hello. I think that's one thing with jumping on the MT-09. I'm missing that pickup a little bit. It doesn't have the same sort of pickup. It's fine, ridden in isolation, it's absolutely fine. But just that pickup when you ride that Duke, where it comes off the throttle, it's so punchy, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's a lovely bike. This is like the Morstead Road on steroids. <laughs> this is glorious. I think it's the A40, isn't it, on the side? It, it, yeah. it is the A40, correct. The A40, if you want to give this a whirl. And on this latest Yamaha quick shifter, you can knock it down while you're accelerating. So and while you? you're accelerating, you can bang it down. So you don't have to close the throttle to use the blipper. So, are you sure? Yeah, I haven't tested that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that as soon as we're out this little twisty bit. Well, no, because I think I did test it yesterday, but accidentally, and I wasn't sure it loved it. Yeah, no, it's, it's supposed to do it. That's one of the features of this fourth generation quick shifter. All oh, right. So accelerated in fifth. Yeah, bang it down. It works, is it? Yeah, it works. Yeah. What's that in the road behind you? Oh, that's right. It's your gearbox. <laughs> that's <laughs> smooth as it is. Smooth <laughs> as. So let's have a look at the. How long are we on this road? Come past then, I think we're on this road for 21 miles, so I don't think you need to worry about me leading. All right, this is going to be a tough old choice, this one again, isn't it, I think? This is another one where both the bikes are superb, and, and, and you're coming down to splitting hairs between them, really. And it looks good, that back end looks good on it now, you know, once you get rid of that massive hanger thing with the what plate that, on what, it. What that one? Yeah, that back end looks gorgeous. <laughs> no, it really does, it look, even with the panniers, it looks all right. One thing I like about the Yamaha as well, we sort of mentioned it off camera yesterday, is it's obviously it's a triple, but it doesn't really sound like a triple. You don't have that sort of triple whine too much like the Triumphs, do you? And I'm, I'm not a massive fan of that sort of triple whine. And, you know, you can't really hear it on the Yamaha. The only thing with the Yamaha, I suppose, is the exhaust is pretty ugly, isn't it? And there's no way just to put an end can on it because it's just one piece, one piece system. And you really need to budget an exhaust, I think, for the Yamaha. So. No, that, that's a fair point, actually. And I, and I struggle with the word pretty ugly. It's hideous. It, do, it doesn't even look like an exhaust, does it? It looks like a witchetty grub been strapped to the bottom of the boat. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's got to go. But I'd change the pipe on the 990 as well, personally. Yeah, so you, you'd only have to change the end cam, wouldn't you, on the 990, I guess. And, and whereas on this, you need a full system. Oh, I love the pull on this thing though, look at it. 
so instant. So it's very Super Duke like, isn't it? I mean, that was one of their goals, I think, to make that more like the Super Duke. I could be on a Super Duke now, really. You know, it hasn't got that ballistic bit at the top that you get on the Super Duke, but just riding it as you normally do ride it, it feels the same, which is a, which is a massive compliment to this. Yeah, it's that, that pickup and that pickup off the throttle is, is so impressive. <laughs> Sorry, that was accidental. Actually, that's just just proving a point of that pickup on the throttle, aren't you? Yeah, that is what I like about the Super Duke, the fact that any little crest and you can exploit it. And I feel the same on this 990. It's so much fun. Obviously, I'm like a child, but if you're like me, you'll love it. What's quite impressive is these right this road particularly is a bit gnarly you know a bit bouncy but the suspension is really plush on on, on the Yamaha it's very plush feel doesn't feel budget in any shape or form uh, no, nothing feels budget on this bike does it and for 11 grand bike that is really quite incredible the same on the KTM you know th this is pretty bumpy and I'm not getting anything through the spine there's no crashing it's just it's just handling it beautifully Right, we just stopped, had a little bit of coffee in the cafe, <laughs> little latte. Uh, the sun is breaking through. We're doing a little swap back now. I'm going on the 990. Greg's going back on the SP. I so am indeed. And we're heading back to the uh, the lunch spot we did yesterday. What's it called again? Can't remember. Baffle, Baffle House. Baffle House. <laughs> the burgers looked good yesterday. So <laughs> we we. We want to smash a burger. We want to smash a burger each. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. You'll have to lead momentarily then, because you've got navigation, yes? I have the navigation. Yeah, jumping back on the Yamaha, it's it's definitely a softer proposition all round, really. Not soft, just softer. I think KTM's, they're notoriously sort of focused, aren't they, really? And this is a little bit, a little bit softer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this has got the sport throttle response, but... It's just just that grunt, and it's just that pull. Uh, any revs, really low down. It's 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 really. Uh, so it's, it's not aggressive. Is the wrong word. It's. Uh, no, it's, just, it's just sharp, isn't it? It's sharp. Yeah, yeah. It's very sharp, and and it, it it's so sharp that it makes the Yamaha feel a little bit flat in comparison, doesn't it? Yeah, and I'll tell you what. And I've noticed this. We've been swapping obviously for the last 24 hours. When I jump on the KTM from the Yamaha. I'm immediately at home on the KTM, but it takes me five or ten minutes to get back used to the Yamaha when I jump back on it. Uh, and I don't know why, it just feels a little bit softer. And as I say, it's not to say it's soft, but it's the throttle response is softer, the suspension softer. It's all just a little bit more relaxed, I would say, in comparison. It's, it's quite, the KTM is very focused, isn't it? It, it's very focused, it's all about performance, it's all about handling, it's very sharp. Whereas, whereas the, the, the SP is just a little bit more relaxed, isn't it? But a little bit more rounded, maybe. A little bit more rounded. It's a close call thing, but there, there are some differences between the two, that is for sure. And one of the things I'm going to do when we stop is I'm going to do a lock to lock to see whether we can put some flat bars on this without it fouling the tank, which I think you could. Uh, because that would be uh, one of the first mods I did if I owned one of these and then I think the riding position would be pretty much perfect for me. Yeah, no, I agree. We keep saying we're going to do that, but we don't I know, actually I keep, that forget, I keep forgetting to do it. <laughs> we yeah, don't I know, I'm going to do it as soon as I stop. As soon as we stop, what you're going to be thinking about is smashing that burger, mate. All the thoughts of testing the steering lock are going to go out the window. <laughs> stop saying that. It sounds like I'm going to make love to it. <laughs> you are. With your, with your mouth. <laughs> One thing we haven't mentioned much, though, is the fact that we've done loads of riding in the last 24 hours, hours and hours, and I don't know about you, but I have not even considered any painful areas. No, you're absolutely right, actually, and I thought I'd have a bit of a sore body on this uh, trip, and I haven't at all. Oh, but wait, we've got to get home, we've got another couple of hundred miles till we get home, so we comment on that you know, before we get home, but both been really comfortable. I, I do think, I think the Yamaha is more comfortable than a 990, 
I do feel my ass a bit more when I'm on this. It, the seat is a bit, the seat foam is a bit thinner. So I think I think the MT is a bit more, and that sort of ties in with the whole. I think the whole bike is just a little bit more comfortable, isn't it? It is, but I think it's marginal. The seat is it's marginal. The seat's still nice and wide on the KTM, and you're right, it is a little bit harder, but it's it's not. It's not Earth Moon difference. I don't think it'd be a decision point for me between the two. No, 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 no. Absolutely, they're both surprisingly comfortable, aren't they? On a on a long trip. And we're both tall as well, and I don't feel cramped on either of them actually. No, and that's the thing I really like about the 990 compared to the 890. The 890 yeah, felt it's bigger, isn't it? Yeah, it, it didn't feel. I guess it didn't feel small to ride, did it? But it looked. It was a small bike to look at, wasn't it? Physically, size-wise, if you're a bigger guy, it was. It was out of the question for me ever owning one because it was physically very small. The 990 is definitely a little bit bigger. You don't look. You don't look too big for the 990. You really don't. If you're a larger rider, the 990, you look fine on it. And the same with the, I think, I think it's the same with the, the MT, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a physically similar size bike to this. They're both a reasonable size. They're not, you know, I don't feel like I need to be playing cymbals while I'm riding it. How many miles to our luncheon destination? Uh, to your smashing your burger. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> 45 miles of Welsh twisties. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Always funny, whenever I come to Wales, the only other bikes you will see is adventure bikes. I've never seen anyone else on anything else but an adventure bike in Wales. You, you just take that in there, see if we see any other bikes today apart from adventure bikes. Well, I can already trump it. We saw that little 125 commuter bike earlier, didn't we? The funny number of L plate. Apart from little uh, little commuters. Oh, he's caveating it already. <laughs> Proper boat. We'll have to do a quick swap so we don't get all those lorries and that catching us up in a caravan. Let's have a little swap. Get going before the lorry catches us. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Woo! You in? Okay. Yeah. Are <laughs> you walking off? I haven't done it yet. Look at the twisties out there, mate. Look at them. <laughs> Oh, I've got my glove! <laughs> I'll see you in a minute, I'm, I'm wasting twisties! <laughs> oh, the fuck comes up on this! Oh. I'm out! Just wait for slow boy. You coming? Hello! Hey! Yeah, it is, oh, I don't want to use the word lacking. But compared with the, the KTM, it, there's a lot less mid-range pull when you go full throttle. They have two adventure bikes. Well, that's an <laughs> XR, but you know, almost an adventure bike. Yeah, the, the KTM is very nice. It, it's it, it's so it's so much fun. As you say, you you push it and it it, it loves it and it, it it does feel very super dukey. If there's such a phrase, but you know, it's just sort of. Yeah, it's very sharp. It feels, yeah, you just feel confident on it. And, and jumping back on the KTM, there is, I don't need any time to recalibrate and adjust. I'm straight back into it. Whereas it definitely takes me a few minutes when I jump onto that Yamaha, which, which wouldn't matter if you owned it, because after a few minutes, it's absolutely perfect. And it's still brilliant fun, that Yamaha. But it's just not as dynamic as this. But I don't think it's trying to be. I think it's meant to be a bit more all round. You know, and if you wanted it as a commuter bike plus Sunday night, sorry, Sunday morning blasts, brilliant there you go not adventure bikes they're oh, all naked yeah, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Awesome. i saw a super Duke gt back there as well <laughs> <laughs> i kept quiet though i kept quiet uh, yeah. <laughs> okay i stand corrected <laughs> oh this 990 though it's so much fun it's lovely it is lovely it is expensive and it's obviously more than the yamaha and it is expensive but but then if you just took it in isolation and compared it to other bikes it, it's a hell of a lot of fun but you know even at that price point you know i'm, I'm sort of like a bit mixed i'm i'm, I'm getting spoiled because of these roads and on these roads this bike suits it so so well but you know, I find myself as we're riding every 10 minutes that passes, I'm sort of reaching back for my checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've got it tucked away, mate. It's, it's in the Yamaha panniers, you're all right. 
but no, it, it, it's this is this is what it's built for, and therefore it sort of like really excels in the in this environment. It's it's so good. Yeah, I mean we were both sort of edging towards the Yamaha, sort of up until this point really, weren't we? Until until we sort of unleash them a bit more on some dry twist twisty roads and it is it is phenomenal when you put it on a set of twisties that bike set of smooth twisties it's just yeah it just gives you so much feedback so precise it couldn't make it easier for you could it as a rider no no exactly and that's what ktm do so well isn't it they are real riders bikes if, if you like to get a lick on they set them up so well. It's what they do, isn't it? It is what they do. Ready to race, mate. Ready to race. Ready to race. Plenty of marketing jargon in this little tour. When we swap back over there, mate, did you check the steering lock on the uh, MT-09 to see if it Oh, was... you're so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> you're so... <laughs> it was a rush swap though, wasn't it? Because you didn't want to get stuck behind that lorry. It was a bit of a rush swap. But I failed again, what a dick. <laughs> Wales, the views, the roads, oh, phenomenal. Well, it is about half four now. We're finally back in England, in England. <laughs> almost yeah. home. I don't know how many miles we've done in total. We must have done close to 300, Got 3, it, 320, yeah. about 350 miles, something like that. Yeah. Bikes have been amazing. We, uh, I've had such fun on those two bikes. It has been good. They're absolutely They're a blast. incredible. They are a blast, oh, aren't they? So good. Yeah. So, so, so good. I mean, nimble, comfortable, plenty fast enough. Yeah. Um, sort of faultless really and yeah. so so easy and you know today we've spent probably seven eight hours in the saddle yeah e easy, e easily. easily and you know i feel marginally sort of like i've been riding but nothing yeah, you know i yeah. felt a lot worse on other bikes that's for sure yeah. which is well, incredible i've got a bit of a sore body now yeah a bit of a sore body. i do i do think the for, for my ass i find the it's the sp the is slightly more comfortable just just, yeah, but there's nothing really in it, but no. slightly more comfortable on the SP. Even the fuel we've been doing, <laughs> <Cut the sneeze. laughs> even the fuel range on them is it the almost uses exactly the same amount of petrol. Yeah, we we're filling it up, and it was like nine litres, nine litres. It's marginal. So, so, yeah, we're, we're obviously riding at exactly the same pace because we're riding yeah. together. Yeah, you know, and we've been riding them fairly hard. I think it's probably I think true more than fairly hard. Yeah, I think we've been we've been pushing them on and. Pushing them um, on. But, you know, but they've been fine and they don't actually drink that much fuel no. because they're small capacity, yeah. relatively small capacity yeah. engines, aren't they? I think I'm with you. I think the Yamaha is a softer proposition, isn't yeah. it? So you get on, when I get onto the Yamaha, it takes me a little bit of time just to adjust. Yeah. But it's the whole thing's just a little bit more comfortable, a little bit yeah. more relaxed. You can still go quickly on it and, you know, I, I didn't have any problems keeping up with you, far from it. Yeah. But it, the whole thing is just a little bit of, it's yeah. a slightly different idea around the same category of bike, I would say. Yeah. It, it, um, the, the KTM's definitely, if you're really pushing on, it's definitely the more nimble, slightly, slightly you know, if you really want to push it or you want to do a track day. It's sharper. It's definitely sharper. I think it? it's sharper and that's it's the definitely thing. definitely sharper. And, and it, feel, it does feel like it's more focused. Focused, that's than, the word. Yeah, yeah. than the MT-09 yeah. SP. But, yeah. That's not to take anything away from the, the MT-09. No, I no. think the MT-09 is probably more things to more people and a little bit more of an all-rounder. And from a usability point of view, yeah. it is flawless. It's, it's nothing to point out where you think this could it's, be better, that could be exactly. better. Exactly, it's probably it, what, you know, I mean, there are a lot of great yeah. gear, gearboxes on bikes now, but the gearbox on this bike, so the quick good, it, it's, it's yeah. impeccable. And everything feels nice. The yeah. brake, you know, the, particularly with the Brembo yeah. front brake now, it feels, it feels top draw really yeah. and it's a hell of a, a hell of a bike for yeah. the money i think i think you can only really you have to be really pushing on 
to notice and a bit of extra that the KTM gives you. I think the front forks are a little bit soft. Yeah. You've got, it's fully adjustable, so we may be able to have a yeah. twiddle, but I think you've just got more support with yeah. the chassis on yeah. the KTM. I think the yeah, chassis is more rigid. It is. It may be not quite as rigid, the, the no. chassis on the M2.9s. So if you want but, that extra 10%, yeah. This really delivers, and it re the harder you push this, the more it rewards you, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? So you're going to call it then. Which one would you uh, recommend to your loyal viewers? It is really close, isn't it? It is super close. Call it. I'm going to call it. I think by a margin, I think I'll take the M29 SP, yeah. and, all, I, and I think, yeah. I, think yeah, I think the SP is considerably better than the standard M29. I agree. You know, I think it's, it's a bigger. I know it's a bit more money, but I think it is a lot better. I yeah. think much more support with that Olin's rear yeah. shop. Yeah. It's just a much better package. In it my it is. It's, de it's definitely worth, in my yeah. humble opinion, the extra over the base MT09 yeah. 2024 model. And I think my pick also, all things considered, yeah. I think I'd pick the MT09 SP because yeah. it's £1,500 cheaper. Cheaper. Um, you do get the tech pack at the moment free of charge, we're told by KTM on the 990 Duke. Yeah. I think the only thing I would say is whilst I would pick the, MT uh, the MT09 with my own money, I think. Although, and although the KTM is more expensive than the MT09, I do think whenever I jump on the, MT, uh, the, the 990 Duke, it yeah. feels like a Super Duke. It and, does and very much. It, so. it feels yeah. very, very similar, which is testament to how good it is, because yeah. it is very, very good. Yeah. Um, but it, in some areas, it just feels a little bit plasticky compared to the Yamaha. Yeah. And yeah, so I think our pick and our recommendation would be the Yamaha. Yeah, but I, it's close. I would agree. But if you want the ultimate, if you're looking for the ultimate middleweight hoon, then it's the KTM, isn't it? So there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're doing loads of other comparisons and stuff like that. So uh, if you enjoyed it, please give us a subscribe, a like, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.